Hey, what's up everybody? This is your Keto Chef Rob. Today we are making an American staple. We're making ketchup. Open up any fridge in America and you'll see a bottle of it. I've had it since I was a little kid. The problem is, is it's not keto. They pack it full of sugar, a lot of times high fructose corn syrup, and they don't use good tomatoes. So today I'm showing you how easy it is to make your own ketchup. You can pick your tomatoes out, not put sugar in it, and you can make it taste delicious. So that's what we're doing today. Let's jump right in. Let's do this. Two different kinds of tomatoes here. We're using heirloom tomatoes and just like regular vine tomatoes. The heirloom tomatoes are gonna add the sweetness that we need. And the regular tomatoes are just nice and bright. Now tomatoes have a lot of juice in them and that's why it's really important that we use a sharp knife. And I definitely recommend you guys get yourself a good chef's knife. You know you have a sharp knife if you do this. This is called a tomato test where you can put a cut tomato on a cutting board and slice a paper thin slice with just the knife and not touching the tomato. I linked to the one that I use in pretty much every one of my videos. It's in the description. So we're using five heirlooms, five regular tomatoes. Just roughly chop those up and put them in the pan. Add your kosher salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and optional is just a pinch of celery seed. It just adds some depth of flavor. Now we wanna cook on high just so we can break through those skins and we can get a lot of the water out. As you can see, there's a ton of water and we have to evaporate about half of that water. So depending on how high you have it, it's gonna take you know three, four, maybe five hours. The higher you have it, the less time it'll take, but make sure that you're stirring it or else you're gonna burn it. And then lastly, to make it taste like real ketchup, we're gonna add half a cup of distilled white vinegar. And that's actually gonna be a preservative too, so we can keep this out of the fridge. Push it through a fine strainer with the back of a ladle, and then boom, ladies and gentlemen, we got ketchup. And as you know, ketchup is pretty much only good on about everything. Here, one of my childhood favorites, scrambled eggs and ketchup, bacon. Yeah, this recipe turned out awesome. Make sure you share it with someone you know that would love it. Keep it keto, guys, and stay healthy. Peace.